What's up guys? In this video we're going to be working on the main component. Um, this component is, uh, you'll see on every single page, so it is an important one. Okay, so we're going to have to import some things that we're going to be using um, for GraphQL. So we're going to import GraphQL and we're going to use the compose function. This is coming from React Apollo. And we're also going to import GQL from graph ql dash tag. Um, and then I'm just gonna rename this to graph ql um, so it looks nice. Um, container is text, that's good. And we can keep this the same. So now down here, um, we're gonna be having to call a function on this class, so we're actually going to export default main. We're going to have to put this guy down here. and you'll, This will make more sense in a second. Um, so the next thing we actually do is we literally just write mutations that we would like. So the two that we're going to work on right now are create taco mutation. Um, and what we do is you'll notice uh, I use the back tick and I just prefix this string with gql. And then in here, I can literally just say mutation and write my mutation out. Um, exactly like when you go to localhost and write it out here. So what I like to do is I like to just go over here and say mutation, uh, create taco mutation, uh, run that, it says that's an error. Then we add in our stuff, meat, chicken, cheese, cheddar, salsa, hot. So I prettify it and first I also like to run it, make sure it works, it does, and I'll just come and copy it, paste it in here. So we're going to do that again. Oops for the creating secret burritos. Create secret burrito mutation. Oops, put a capital U. Then we're gonna come back over here and we're just gonna say, create secret burrito, say size huge, just run that. Auto populates for us what we want. Um, just paste that in. Okay, so now we have these two mutations um, that we would like to run. Basically, we want to wire them up so we can click a button and it'll run this mutation. It'll add a taco to the uh, database. So, how we can do this is we can add these mutations to the props. So if we go back to React app and we inspect it, if we have the React Dev Tools, which I do, um, I recommend installing if you don't. Um, we can add to our main uh, a prop that's a function that we can call. And when we call that prop, what it'll do is it'll then uh, run this mutation on the server. So to do this, we say const create taco graph ql and then we're going to run our taco mutation create taco mutation and then we're going to pass some parameters in here so the props own props and mutate we're going to pass it in here Ooh, do we have mismatching oh i want it to go that way Okay, so inside props, um, we can create a taco, and whatever you name it here is what it's going to show up in the props, and I'll show that to you in a second. Um, and we're just going to return mutate, uh, and uh, then result. and then console.log result. I'm just gonna console log it 
Um, alternatively, what you can do is, for example, if you want this in your, uh, for, our, for ours, we don't need to add it to the Redux uh, store because it's so simple. But notice how it says we have own props. Uh, what this represents is the props that this uh, has access to. And it actually has access to uh, actions. So we could say, for example, instead of just console logging the result, we could say own props dot, uh, you know, you would create an action. Let's say the action we created was um, add taco, and then you could pass in the JSON it returns, and then you can do something, add it to the Redux state, update the view, or whatever you want to do. For now, we're just going to console log it. So now if we come back over here, type main in, we should see container, we should see our prop. I do not see it. Oh, to actually add it. So as you can see, this, this is not actually connected to our main prop. We then have to call create taco on main. And now you see why um, we had to put export default down here is because we're actually wrapping the component with our mutation. So now we should see it if we and sure enough create taco is in the props now. Now we don't want to just create tacos we also want to create secret burritos. So I'm just going to copy this paste it below okay. and we'll call this one create secret burrito, create secret burrito mutation, and then we're going to say create secret burrito, and then we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to log the results. Um, so one way to actually do this is then we can then wrap it again. So each time you want to add a mutation to the props, you just wrap the prop with that function you create. Main. So now we see both of our functions are in the props and we can call them and it'll actually run the mutation on the server. Um, alternatively, as this is really ugly syntax, and if we, for example, have more mutations, you just keep wrapping over and over and over. As you can actually compose, that's why we import that function. Um, and you can pass in the functions you'd like, so create taco and create secret taco, or sorry, secret burrito, and then you call main on that composed function. And there we go. If we come back over here, we should still see our props. Okay, so now we are able to programmatically um, basically call the server, call mutation on the server. All we have to do is uh, click a button and then our button will call this uh, function that we just created in the props and it'll update the server. So in the next video we'll actually set up the button that you click um, that'll run this function.